Now listen. It is not every time you have emotional attachment towards your wife. It's not every time I love you, I love you. Some of you, you can't remember the last time you told your husband I love you. When you look at the guy, he doesn't look at somebody to be loved. <laughs> Our marriage is not based on the word. They are quickly to do wedding. They want to quickly go and stay. They call them missus. But they have not sit down to wear the weight because the thing is a responsibility. <laughs> and all the things I'm talking about, God put it in the way. That at the point when you marry, I'm tired. That's not coming. Defraud you not one another. He said, look at what God is saying. When I went to marry, my body is no more for me. Ah. Only God can write things like that. The wife body does not belong to her by the husband. The husband body does not belong to her by the wife. It means that if this body is for me, I don't need permission to enter. Yeah. I can enter this body and come out because the body is belong to me. Now, it is in marriage how all these things get established. Yes, but today, people are defending what is not for them. Yeah. And we are tired. And we are pain. Because we have gone out of the word of God. And we want to use our own methods. This are the, right, there are people here they don't even know the scripture I'm talking about oh, yes. but they have married for five years they don't know they don't even know this in the Bible that your body does not belong to you so the body is for who if it's not belong why am I doing makeup keep doing makeup they don't understand everybody's bringing their head for anointing oil without knowledge everybody's bringing their head for oil so we are heavily anointed on an empty vessel no knowledge. Those who are in the marriage, some are running away from it. Some of them are in the marriage, they've changed reverse gear. Some too, they've changed forward gear fifth. They are trying to enter. They have not even asked why is this sister coming out. So now, if it is possible, let's stop disturbing pastors to cancel us in the church. Let's get people here who have married for 30 years, 40 years, and come and tell you that the 30 years is not 30 years of roses. It's 30 years of forgiveness, 30 years of self selfless, selfless life, 30 years of overlooking a lot of things. Listen, listen, listen. 30 years of getting tired, but a man will not let you sleep. Oh. <laughs> when Richard Robert told me on our way to uh, Holiday Inn and told me that all married problem is sex and money. And I said, explain, I won't. Time will explain it to you. I call him, I said, Richard, time has explained. Yeah. <laughs> this is the bottom line. All my real problems, sex and money. Sex and money. Sex and money. Sex and money. Explain. Time will explain it to you. <laughs> Keep living. You can come there. Everybody doesn't want to do what God wants us to do. Now, this is the generation who want to write their own Bible, bring it to God and say, accept our Bible. What are some of our Bible? I am not fanicated, but I'm going out. <laughs> we have terms. No, we don't call fanication again. Uh, there's a way you you call it. What do they call it? Dating. Please, when you are sleeping with a man who's not a husband, the Bible doesn't call it dating. Go and check your Bible. Whether there's dating inside. Check it. Oh, you're not so old, but you're my Bible name can't say me call out. Did the Bible even tell you to go out? No. <laughs> so that is what we are presenting our Bible to them. God. Pastors sleeping with church members calling it grace. <laughs> our own Bible. There are ladies in church, they know the waste of their pastor. They know. Only say pastor, they treble than her own name. What can he preach for you to go to heaven? <laughs> so the fact that you don't tell anybody that's not me, God doesn't know. That's the bottom line. And Crofona, I don't say yes, without spontaneous This is the bottom line. And I Apostle Paul says, don't you know that we will account for your life? My God. We must not say it. <laughs> so it's difficult. We are marking time. It looks as if we are pretending as if we are waiting for God, but God is waiting for us. Now told me. I was here before you came. So who is waiting for who? 
when the Lord shall build up Zion, you appear in his glory. When I call young people that want to marry here, you see how many will flop here. And I'm going to call very soon. But hear this. They will come for anointing, but they will push knowledge aside. There are wives in this room, no refreshment on their marriage. Because since after they married 20, they've never read one book. So people are growing physically. They are growing sometimes because of fasting emotionally, but not growing mentally. And you know, the ability to stabilize your marriage at home, the knowledge is not there. It's not there. There are things you just have to overlook. There are things you just have to be quiet just to maintain peace. But if you don't have knowledge, you will react. So what